Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Tech Control. The F-22 Raptor stands as a symbol of air superiority, unrivaled in stealth, speed, and combat capabilities. But what if it had evolved into something more? The FP-22 bomber concept promised to transform the Raptor into a regional strike powerhouse, boasting extended range, expanded payloads, and unmatched agility. Yet, despite its tantalizing potential, the U.S. ultimately chose to focus on the F-22's original mission, dominating the skies. Why did the Air Force abandon a bomber variant that seemed poised to revolutionize warfare? Join us as we uncover the strategic and technological choices behind this pivotal decision. Why the U.S. choose the F-22 Raptor over the FB-22 bomber concept? It's true. The F-22 Raptor was once proposed as the basis for a stealth bomber derivative known as the FP-22. This ambitious concept envisioned modifying the F-22's airframe to create a regional bomber capable of addressing specific strategic needs. Unlike traditional bombers like the venerable B-52 Stratofortress or the supersonic B-1 Lancer, the FB-22 would have a shorter range but offer significant advantages in terms of stealth, agility, and payload versatility. Despite its potential on paper, the FB-22 concept never materialized and was ultimately shelved in favor of other initiatives. The FB-22 proposal made logical sense in theory. One of the most significant hurdles in developing new military aircraft is the cost and complexity of starting from scratch. By leveraging an existing and proven platform like the F-22, the U.S. Air Force could potentially save billions of dollars in research, development, and manufacturing costs. Much of the design work, including aerodynamics, propulsion systems, and stealth features, had already been perfected in the F-22. This approach could allow for quicker deployment of a capable new bomber to meet the pressing needs of a changing strategic landscape. The push for the FB-22 stemmed from a 1999 congressional white paper highlighting concerns about the U.S. Air Force's long-term bomber capabilities. According to the report, the existing bomber fleet, consisting primarily of the B-52, B-1, and B-2, would remain viable only until approximately 2037. Beyond that, several factors would significantly impair America's ability to project power globally. Firstly, advancements in air defense systems were expected to outpace the capabilities of non-stealthy aircraft like the B-52 or B-1. As adversaries developed more sophisticated radar and missile systems, these older bombers would become increasingly vulnerable and unable to penetrate contested airspace. Secondly, the aging bomber fleet was becoming a growing concern. The B-52, introduced in the 1950s and the B-1, operational since the 1980s, were nearing the end of their service lives. Maintenance costs were escalating, and the airframes were showing signs of wear and tear that could limit their effectiveness. The F-22 Raptor is renowned as the world's premier air superiority fighter. Its sleek design, cutting-edge avionics, and unmatched stealth capabilities make it a dominant force in aerial combat. On the contrary, bombers and fighters jet have fundamentally different missions and design priorities, so converting the F-22 into a bomber required significant modifications. Several design proposals for the F-35 Lighting Yacht program were explored. One of the most striking concepts featured a delta wing configuration with no vertical stabilizers. The delta wing design offered several advantages, including increased lift, greater internal space for fuel and weapons, and improved aerodynamic efficiency. This modification alone would have significantly expanded the F-35 operational range and payload capacity compared to the original F-35.